Today we're looking at penguins and how they keep warm through the Antarctic winters. Penguins have evolved to become incredible swimmers in the icy waters, but they're not so good on land. Their wings have adapted to become flippers, great for swimming, not so good for flying. They're very sociable. This penguin rookery has almost 170,000 birds. That's a lot of penguins. Penguins need to take really good care of their feathers as they use them to swim and catch fish. If they're really lucky, they might just get some help too. And when the sun shines, there's nothing better than a good old sunbathe to dry out the feathers. Ah, this is the life. So what is it that makes penguin feathers so clever? The penguins have two types of feathers. They have a thick outer feather, which is, works like a raincoat, basically. This keeps the water out, which is good news if you go for a dip. They also have a, a thick downy coat underneath their outer layer, and that keeps air trapped inside and keeps them really well insulated so they can survive the really extreme temperatures in the Antarctic. You can see them quite clearly on this penguin that's molting. So let's have a look at the difference between these two feathers. When I take an outer feather and some water, then spray it, you can see clearly that the water beads on the surface and the other side is still bone dry. That's the penguin's raincoat working. But if I try the same thing with the downy feathers, the water is absorbed and they're soaked through. The penguin solution is to keep the downy layer close to its body and the waterproof layer on the outside, which helps keep them warm and dry. So as you can see, this is one of the many ways that penguins have adapted to living in the Antarctic weather. Thanks little fella. <laughs>